Hello, everyone, and I hope that you're having an amazing week so far. I am coming on here especially to invite you to participate in the last Sabbath of the year 2020. We are having another virtual communion service, and we're praying that you will participate with us. Again, we're asking that you will prepare your emblems, your unleavened bread, whatever form that takes, unleavened bread, and that you would get some grape juice and be ready to join us as we consecrate those emblems, number one, and number two, as we will then partake from them to remember what Christ did for us at Calvary. I really am imploring you that you prepare yourself to receive this this weekend. I understand that this is virtual, but I really, really want to see the opportunity for so many to join us as we are participating in communion this weekend. Our Toronto West family, we invite you to prepare yourself. And for those of you that are watching who are not yet members of our family, first of all, we anticipate your arrival and we anticipate one day that you will join us soon to become part of the family of God. The invitation is always open. But secondly, that you also will prepare yourself. Communion consists of uh, two things. Number one, first, I ask that wherever possible, that we will humble ourselves and within our own families, wash each other's feet. If you're a single person living on your own and that is just not possible because you don't have somebody that can partner with you to do that, we understand. It is no less meaningful, but we understand. And it doesn't mean that you're excluded from the communion. But wherever possible, if you can wash each other's feet, do so. And then have your emblems of your bread and your wine prepared so that we can partake together and participate together within our own homes. Pray so that you can be ready to receive it. And I, my hope and prayer is that when Sabbath comes and we all are participating in that communion service, that we will feel the presence of God in our very homes and more importantly, in our very lives. May the good Lord richly bless you as you continue the rest of your week. I pray, I'm praying this especially for all of us, that the Lord will send extra angels to keep the devil as far away from us as possible. God bless you, and we'll see you on Sabbath.